Hi, my name is Gisela Marti, Creative Director for Tammy Taylor Nails. I'm going to be teaching you how to pair different techniques that are easy but commercial to create beautiful wedding nail designs. The guest artist product from different Tammy Taylor lines. Are you ready? So let's get started. The products that we are going to be using for these wedding nail designs are the following. We're going to be working with our Gelligan's Gel Art Paint White. We're going to be working with our Gelligan's Flawless Foundation and our Into the Matte Top Coat as a polished lacquer cinnamon. The tools that we need are going to be our detailed brush and our three-dimensional brush. We will be working with our white competitive edge powder, our A plus liquid, our clean it. We need our oil, the small crystal dab and dish. Last but not least, our towelettes and wipe it. For this wedding design, the steps are the following. First, we're gonna prepare the nail properly. Once the nail is prepared properly, you can choose your favorite stamping plate and the desired design and stamp the nail. I'm using Tammy Taylor Cinnamon Nail Polish Lacquer, which have excellent pigmentation for stamping. Once the nail is being stamped, and be sure to choose um, designs that are widely open. I'm going to seal the design with my Into the Mat top coat. And once you seal the design, if you're gonna use UV, it's gonna be cured for two minutes, but if you're using LED, it's going to be cured for one minute. Okay, now that the nail is completely cured, what we're gonna do is we're going to prepare the mix that we're gonna use to texturize the nail design. And for that, we're gonna be working with the Gel Art Paint White, and we're gonna add a little bit of our powder, uh, whether you can use white or you can use um, Clear, it doesn't matter, but we need to add a little bit because what we want to achieve is a little bit dense mix. So I need to add just a little bit more into that powder. And you can use a spatula uh, to make this mix. And when you see that it's a, the viscosity of the mix is a little bit thicker, that's exactly what we are gonna use. And this is perfect. So my mixture is already prepared and I'm gonna use a detailed brush and I'm gonna pick small amounts of the product and I'm gonna start adding the texture to my design. And as you see, all what I'm doing is just following what I already have stamped on the nail. Now be sure that you use the very tip of the brush. Don't pick up too much amount because if the stamp design is a small, you want to be sure that you don't overflow the part that you're texturizing. See, as you see, I already finished one part of my flower. That's why it is important for you to have a very open design. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm, see how close I'm coming to the first application. But because of the powder that we add to the mixture, my paint now is a little bit thicker so it's not gonna move. So I can go very close without touching the first application. As you see how beautiful it's already seen. And when you finish, this is gonna look amazing. Perfect. Keep going around. 
See, I'm going to leave this center over here because I'm going to put an application of a stone later on. So I'm going to come close over here. There's a flower in here, and I'm going to do some dotting. Dots, dots, dots. And keep adding some dots to that flower. I'm going to come to the bottom part over here, and I'm going to go down close to the center, leaving a space in the middle that it will show part of the stamping. That's why this color, the cinnamon color, is perfect for this nail design. It will give you like an antique look, which is awesome. And keep following the pattern. This technique is so easy that even if you are an expert or not in designs, this will make you an expert designer. Because you're just following what you just stamped. Okay, so if I think that I need to do a quick cure, I will do a quick cure and keep following the pattern, bringing all that texture inside. I'm going to do one more flower over here by dotting dots, dots, and I'm going to do a quick cure. Okay, this is, a, I did a quick cure, and I want to be sure that the point of my brush is perfect, so clean it in between. It doesn't matter how many times do you have to do, if you have to do that quick cure, do it. Because all what is happening, it is um, allowing you to do a perfect texture application. So keep following the pattern. And I'm going to be doing over here, it's like a leaf over here. And with the very point, I'm going to bring it down to that center. Right? And I have also over here, let's go to the opposite side. I'm going to do an application on the, on the side of the nail, following the pattern. Remember, you're going to be filling every single part, but you can start with some areas first, and then you complete it. So it's okay if you jump from one side to another and do those quick cures. Right, there we go. I'm also going to do one over here, which is very close to the, the first one's applications that I did. And there's like a shape of a leaf over here. Bring it up. Then down. Close, but not so close together, just to bring that effect on this side. Keep going around, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fill the corner coming into the center over here, going around the leaf. That's why it's so important to use a brush that have a fine points so you can get to those areas, those delicate areas, without messing up with the rest of the design. And again over here, there's another leaf over here, and I'm going to come from the top. If you think that it's too much product, don't worry about it. Just go back, take it out. But be sure, as you see, when I'm applying the product, that I'm leaving areas that are, I can see the stamping, because that's what's going to make the design look like vintage. And I'm going over here on this area where I have these um, triangles, and I'm going to make some applications carefully. 
Okay, so I already did another quick cure. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a little bit more the desired areas. And this is one of my desire, desired areas, which is my what I started my first applications. And as you see, I'm taking a little bit more and I'm putting it over the first application. I want to build that area. I want to be sure that when I put my applications, stones, um, in this case, I'm gonna be using pearls, that it shows more than the rest of the areas of the nail design. There we go. You can see the difference. This mix is fantastic because it will give you exactly what you want and it will stay there without moving. I also want to emphasize this part over here. So I'm gonna add a little volume over here on the bottom part of my design. There we go. And I'm almost finishing here and I'm going to cure so I can definitely finish my design, putting all the applications that I want to apply. There we go. So we're gonna do another cure and then we're gonna finish the design with the applications. Okay, now that is completely cured, I'm gonna finish the design by framing the top part of the nail. Now this is an optional um, finishing. If you want to do it, you can do it. I personally love it. So I'm gonna take my gel art paint with the bold stripe it, and you can also do it with the detail brush. I'm gonna do it with the bold striper and I'm gonna come all the way around, place it and pull it again. I'm gonna place it and I'm going to pull it, coming to the center. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top part, coming all the way down. I want to place it and then pull it all the way, finishing in a very thin line. And then I want to cover all the corners, both corners of the nail. Okay, very thin. The same thing on the other side of the nail. I want to be sure that it's covered, meeting with my last detail. I'm even gonna bring from here a line and now I'm gonna cure. Remember, if you're using UV, it would be two minutes, but if you're using LED, it would be one minute. Okay, now that everything is completely cured, I want to add the rest of my elements, which I'm going to be using some pearls. And I have different sizes of pearl. The best way for me to attach a stone or a pearl it would be with acrylic. So I'm using clear acrylic and I'm using a small amount, placing it right on the center. Take my large stone and place it right there. I wanna put some pressure and then I'm gonna keep adding in each one of the centers that I have flowers, like in this particular case, it's a small flower, so I'm gonna add in a small pearl right there be sure whenever you're using your 3d to take the excess of the liquid completely so you can have an, a small amount of the acrylic and use the very tip to do that keep adding small pearls if the area is bigger, then you want to add a bigger size. 
Like for example, in this particular case over here, I want to add a little bit bigger a pearl, but not as big as the first one. So it's going to be a medium sized pearl. When you're designing for wedding pearls, really actually at the touch. I'm going to put one more over here, small. Let's see which one wants to play. That one is right there. Check the design to see if there's any other area which you would like to add a pearl. And I definitely want to add one over here, another small pearl. Right there. And to finish, on this area, whether it's in this area or this area, you can also add some pearls. I'm going to add it on this particular area. This is going to add the final touch of elegance to my design. And I am sure that when you use pearls, whether you use pearls or whether you use tones, it's going to look just as elegant. Right there. We have our three tiny pearls and all the details are finished. So now I'm going to seal my design with the Into the Matte Top Coat. And remember, if you're using UV, you're going to cure for two minutes, and if you're using LED, for one minute. So now it's completely finished, and I clean it. With the cleaning, this is the final result. I'm sure that if you take these techniques, pair them together, choose your favorite design, your favorite plate, stamp, and use this texture technique, your clients are going to love it. Until next time, have fun.